Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and web designer techtips.com. Well, we had a great question um, on one of our bootstrap videos. It's about images. So I've got a full width image here on the top. And I've got two there, three there, and four there. The question that I was asked was, how am I supposed to know what size images to use? Well, that used to be a real big deal. Um, but nowadays that um, internet speeds have got so much faster and cell phones, uh, 5G, 4G, it's not such a big deal about size. But they were probably thinking, well, you know, how do I make it fit the right thing? Well, there's, there's, there's two things here. As a rule of thumb, generally, if I'm going to have a, a full width picture like this, the minimum resolution that I want it is 1920 wide. Now I'd probably go up higher than that if I can. For instance, this one's about 4000, but here's the images I've got here. If I go to details here, you'll see that none of them are particularly large. And I've optimized them in Photoshop, which is, you know, not everybody has Photoshop. Uh, I'm, I know there's a free program called GIMP out there you can use. But it's a great idea to optimize your images because they will load faster. But if you just want to download them and put them up there, that's fine. I use it. many free stock photo sites. Here's one called um, Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot -E com. They got some wonderful pictures on here. Just type in what you're looking for and you can download the images. And when you click on it, you can decide what size you want. So really the large, as far as I'm concerned, is good enough for any full width image. And the medium's good for sort of, if it's gonna be two images, for instance, two columns that are gonna take up half the width of the page each. These will probably do for four images. I'd probably use that for three, I don't know. But as you can see, you can download them. They can be uh, small sizes. But it really doesn't matter so much nowadays. Just download them the size that you want. Like I say, try and keep the file sizes down below a megabyte. And when you download from here, just take the smallest one that's going to fit in the area that you want to put it. You can do custom size here if you want to. That way, you know, things are going to load quicker. But like I say, for full width, I'd say a minimum of 1920. For these, probably a minimum of six or 700 wide. For these, a minimum similar, about 500. Because if you think about this width, usually it's going to be about 1400, something like that. Of course, you get these great big cinema monitors now with huge pixel resolutions, but they will blow them up slightly. But the great deal with Bootstrap at the moment is they've got an image class called Image Fluid, which will make the image just fill out the correct space. So let's look at the Bootstrap that I've got here. I'm using brackets. If anybody doesn't have a text editor, it's free and I'll put the link below. Okay, so here's my big one right there. I've got the class of image fluid. If I just take this away, let's take that class away. Let's see what difference it makes. Let's look at our top image. Okay, there it is. Now let's refresh without that class of image fluid. As you can see, it's just zoomed in because it's quite a big image. So all we're getting is that corner. So if we go back and put that in there, it'll just make it fill the available space. Control S to say. Now let's refresh. And as you can see, it's just the whole image is stretching to fit the, the available space. And it's exactly the same with these small, small ones. I'm actually using the same size images if I just change this back and hover over, you'll see this one right here is 
4,226 wide. I imagine that's the same. Yep, they're all the same, which is pretty big. So you'd think they'd, they'd zoom over in these. But I've got that image fluid class, which is containing them in there. Image fluid right there. So for instance, if I take this away from one of these here, and save, control S, I can't remember which row that was now, but let's look at, I think it was one of these two. Let's see which of these images changes. There is, you see this one, it's just gone absolutely huge and it's just trying to take over the whole page. So like I say, you can scale them down with the graphic editing software or, or ask for them for a certain size, but there's really no need anymore. Like I say, it's a good idea to have them not not too big file sizes but the actual size that they need to be really doesn't matter so much nowadays just use that image fluid and it'll fill up the available space just don't make them too big in file size you know because it will slow your site down so I hope that's made that uh, clear to you and answered that question and I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.